Hi Sagittarius, this is your romance reading for December 2021 and I hope you're well and first of all I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me in and the channel rather, our channel, because you make it what it is as well. Together we stand strong, me on my side and you from your side. Thank you for your support throughout 2021 and I hope you will have a beautiful festive time, a beautiful Christmas and a happy and healthy and exciting new year. I'm using the Opposition Tarot, that's like the Vice Versa Tarot, but it is on the same card. So um, it is fairly new for me, I've only had it three or four days, so if you would like to have a look at all the cards, then have a look at the review. Also, we will have the full moon on the 19th of, um, uh, the 19th of, uh, I forgot now, uh, November. Uh, I'm, the time is going so fast that I can't keep up with it because I'm always busy making readings and doing this or that or the other. And so you might be susceptible to the energy of the full moon. Also, um, we are going into the eclipse season that will last till 2023. So the energy is a big shift. Also, we're going into Sagittarius around the 21st, 22nd. Okay, that said, um, uh, I hope you will enjoy the reading. I'm doing the reading for singles divorcees or going through a divorce or uh, hooked up couples whether married or living together. You come in with the overall energy of the High Priestess. This is a card and that is a warning or can be a warning and also to enlighten you to watch out and pay more attention to your intuition and your empathy your, your, your sensitivity, your emo emotionally sensitive, especially perhaps around the full moon or the new moon. There is also a new beginning because we have it in the upright, you can see she's dark here and here she's lit up by the moon. She also represents the triple moon uh, uh, goddess, so you could be uh, meeting a Pisces um, or an other a water sign but mainly Pisces as Pisces uh, represents the moon and I think the moon also represents cancer because we've got the crab in the card usually in the traditional card so Pisces cancer you've also got the new beginning the porthole the angelic porthole the uh, pillars uh, so there is a new beginning somewhere, but play the cards close to your chest as well. She's a mysterious woman. She doesn't let on. She has all the knowledge um, because she can travel be between the underworld and the normal world. So play your cards close to your chest. Also, that is the uh, overall energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have the page of wands. You could be expecting news. News could be um, about uh, somebody younger than you or could be about getting being pregnant or uh, about a child or could come from a child. Okay, so the news will be about taking action, being creative. Also, it could be about being more strategic um, depending on what you are, what information you are holding back. Now, this could be information about a house that's coming on the market um, that you've um, let your estate agent know or your um, real estate agent know that you are interested in. Um, as we have the four of ones, the four of ones means you could be renting a new place or you could be buying a place, but it's also celebration. So this could be a housewarming, this could be a wedding, Normally it is regarded as the wedding card, um, but also because of the four of wands, which is not depicted here. It is depicted with a very beautiful big house um, with garland on the one of the um, uh, wands. 
but you can only see one want here and then there's an other want separating the negative from the positive and then you've got an other want here. You can see that the flowers have died here and here. It is full in blossom and bloom. So something is coming to fruition and it could be celebration. So housewarming, a, a, a wedding, a proposal for a wedding. You could be invited to a wedding if, it, if you're not getting married. Something is also stable. Proper foundations, friendships, if you're going to gatherings or celebrations, um, you could be meeting people there and you could spark off a new love or a new friendship and these friendships are built on proper foundations. You know the saying, the saying is from a wedding comes a wedding. So there you go. So perhaps you might be getting married. The wedding is in the cards. Now the second card that we have and that lies underneath the four of wands is the two of wands. Times have been hard to balance. This is this could be balancing yourself, making plans for the future. There is green on this branch. So there is a new beginning that could be partnering up. And this is confirming the marriage card. Also making plans for the future or partnering up. But it's been a, a tough road. It's been a tough climb. But you're getting to where you want to go. You're getting to your goal. Awesome absolutely wonderful you might be building or refurbishing a house as well renewing and then having a, a celebration because you've extended the home you also have the four of cups so perhaps you might be uh, feeling down or something might be gnawing at you and you've got it in the upright position because she's holding the cup but she's got her eyes closed she's not seeing what is happening around her so be open, come into action, get out of your mind. Then you can see the beauty around you and what the next step is and possibly what is on offer. You might not have enough information with regards to something, perhaps buying a house or about the house that you're going to buy or rent. So do your research since we have the moon here as well. It is also a very spiritual reading here. Also the emotions between two people. Perhaps you might not be seeing the emotions of your partner or your potential partner. How much they love you. Because she's, she's facing the happy card, the, the wedding card. You're not seeing how much they are loving you and what they are offering you. You've also got 4-4, four, four, so watch out for double numbers. This could be 4 minutes past 4 or 4 minutes to 4 if you are looking for time. So you are in the spotlight. You are being noticed by your partner, but don't make it such a struggle. Make plans together and... Um, be flexible and compromise where you can and so they have to compromise as well with regards to perhaps making plans about a wedding or a reception or moving home so come on get out of your head and start doing the research that you need to do to get the full picture okay so you are in the spotlight you are being seen um you i feel i feel with this in this situation you are soulmates you feel each other you know what each other is feeling so perhaps if you're hiding something um being mysterious playing your cards close to your chest they are no they know your feelings that you are brewing something up and hopefully happiness um because it's lying next to the card of happiness you wanting to take action in something and you will get the news on this. Perhaps you might just be re rejuvenating yourself, meditating, contemplating and evaluating the next step. But be conscious because there is something on offer. You could be dealing with a Virgo. The moon is Cancer or Pisces, as I said, with the High Priestess. So Virgo, again, a spiritual leader, a spiritual guide. This could be a priest. This could that you're seeking advice from um, with planning on the marriage because it is in the, that row of the marriage and victory. 
So there again, you might be the guide to your other half to let them know what you are thinking about, what you want, gently, not forcefully. And this could be around the fourth week at the end of December. Also, um, it might have to do with somebody's faith why you can't get married at this moment or that you might not want to get married perhaps you might have to change and adjust and compromise but be flexible on both sides you do have number nine so there is an ending to being alone okay and like i said you do have the number two the pillars the porthole to a new beginning so don't give up hope the overall energy is mysterious secrets so secrets could come to daylight because we've got the everlasting light okay you also have the page of swords so yes officiality the truth could be coming out you might be making it official uh, your partnership perhaps uh, you were scared to come out into the open because of uh, a difference of belief or culture um, so talk about it communicate about it because the swords do stand for communication and that's why you might seek guidance spiritual guidance how do i cope with this um, how do we cope with this and how do we tell our families well if you are honest transparent and clear um, then uh, and you can make a decision <laughs> you'll have victory because you've got the six of wands this could also be news about a divorce for those that are divorcing that now finally you can get the guidance you need to heal because the, um, the hermit does retreats in order to heal and to rejuvenate his batteries and rejuvenate his, his mind and his physical body. He lets go of what is of no use to him and he learns from the past, he learns from his life experience and the decisions that he's made. So perhaps you have as well and this could be the news of finalizing the divorce or getting married. That there is, this could be news from a registrar office or the church saying there is room on Christmas day if that is your wish. I'm just saying this hypothetically but it is in the fourth week so you might want to get married on New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve or New Christmas Day. I think it's going to be very difficult though on Christmas Day because the registrar office is closed and also the churches usually are used for Christmas Mass. But perhaps you might find a priest if you want to get married in the church that will do that because it is a special day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, um, you uh, have the Six of Wands. Again, victory, you're the champion, you're being seen, you've got the recognition, you're going on to the next level. So you are being seen by your other half or potential other half that try, they might be trying to approach you and you're not seeing it how they are approaching you you are not seeing it so perhaps they should be blunt or perhaps you should be blunt and step towards them and ask them why why are you messaging me why are you sending messages what give me clarity please that's the swords come into action perhaps you have to come into action and ask for clarity be wise, be gentle, like the hermit, the wise old man. Definitely going on to the up to the next level if you are hooked up. So if you are married, perhaps you might want to expand the family um, because now also there could be presents coming in or money coming in, that promotion that one of you have been waiting for. This is the Six of Pentacles, that means give and take. This is the Six of Wands, so you've got two Sixes. Awesome. We've got the Hermit, there's a Nine, an Ending, and going into a new beginning with the knowledge and with the life experience, and that will bring you victory. 
Also, this is the card in the upright and mean look at all the confetti. Uh, so I do see marriages. Also, I see that you could be going on honeymoon um, at, uh, around the end of um, the December month. Because this is this is the third week this is the fourth week so you could be going on holiday or honeymoon at after Christmas and celebrating New Year somewhere exciting okay great stuff and you could be getting a gift of money or listening ear or a helping hand if you're moving home it most probably will be a helping hand now we also have the TLC cards and believe in your own magic. I love this reading. Perhaps you might have already got a house and now you feel ready to get married and settle down. Wow, beautiful. This is sticking out, so that's the one I'm taking. You've got 20, you are definitely in balance. Two, here you are, she's decorating her house. I'm always enough. Yes, you are. You are enough. And you, but you have to be open. But take time from time to retreat, to reload your batteries, and to figure out what the next step is. Evaluate your relationship. Your life is very good because that keeps you in balance. And 20 becomes 2, so that is balance. You are the lighthouse. Don't doubt your worth, okay? So be the beacon. Come out of your mind. Be the beacon, okay? Make sure you've got all the information. Like the High Priestess, she represents the moon. You've got the moon, so be the beacon. Be in the spotlight and enjoy it. But where necessary, keep uh, the cards close to your chest. If you're scared of, um, if you're finding, if you're pregnant, pregnant and you find out and you know it is difficult because there might be not enough money at the moment, then seek advice from somebody that's mature and wise. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Now I'm going to the TLC deck, see what's coming out for you. Okay. Okay, we've got the lighthouse, a divine promise. Well, talking about the lighthouse here, you've got the lighthouse there. Be the beacon. Also shine your light on everything. Be bright. Enjoy December for what it is and all the celebrations. When storms happen and tests appear and you are caught unaware, know that you are fully equipped to handle them. You are not at the mercy of outside forces, even as you sense or self is threatened and you want to give up. Turn toward the light. It will shine out of you in a way you least expected. Knowledge <coughs> excuse me, will spill forth and wisdom will arise and reveal a pathway ahead like the hermit definitely that's describing the hermit hold steady and aim towards the truth of your being doubt can no longer keep you from reaching your highest destination take hold of your inherent holiness even if you feel uneasy at first and feel strengthened by knowing now that a love greater than all this world is living through you so that's the divine that's a message from the divine if you ask me i hope you have enjoyed this reading um sagittarius take care stay safe and enjoy the festivities love you all and thank you for your support and i see you in the lives on wednesday or friday and saturday depending if i'm collaborating take care bye bye